slow the uh, game down and, you know, have them play to our level. But uh, Ole Miss is a good offense, and, you know, uh, we're going to go out and, you know, just play our game and, you know, try to uh, slow them down as best we can. James? Uh, yeah, that's definitely something that we've taken into account as far as practicing. Uh, we know we have to limit the big plays. We know we can't give them any, uh, any big plays, and we know we have to uh, just be ready for whatever they uh, bring to the table. All right. Kevin, same question. Yeah, basically, you know what they said, that's always part of the game plan is, you know, limit big plays. So, you know, we play, we play in the Big 12, so we're used to, you know, them taking, taking those shots and trying to take, make big plays. So, it'll be nothing different for us. That's what, that's what we're used to seeing. Next job. Uh, Chris, Coach uh, Bumpus was just sitting here talking about on this Evan Ingram and then the wide receivers in general. What are your thoughts on Ingram? And then, you know, he kind of talked about how, how big and tall uh, Ole Miss's receivers were. What are your thoughts on them? And do they remind you of anybody that, like Baylor or, or some other team in the Big 12? Uh, you know, in the Big 12, we have a lot of, uh, you know, big receivers and, you know, fast, you know, size-wise and everything like that. But, uh, like Kevin White, the one from uh, White House, I mean, not White House, but uh, West Virginia. Uh, he's a pretty good receiver and uh, he's pretty big. And, you know, something like Bailey, speed wise, uh, Ole Miss has those uh, type of guys also. So uh, it's, they have a pretty good group that we've uh, seen uh, every week in the Big Two. All right, where are we going next, guys? All right, over here on the left. Is it easier? I guess I want to ask uh, Kevin first. Is it easier to play a, a team that plays at a more conventional, more normal pace than some of the no huddle, rapid fire pace that you see in the Big Twelve? Uh, yeah, most definitely. You know, when they slow down the game, it gives us a chance to, you know, get our calls in, get our reads, and everything like that. As opposed to you know, quick huddle. You know, everything's moving fast, and they're trying to you know, quick strike you and everything like that. So. You know, for us to you know, slow the game down, you know, get it to the pace that we want it to, it definitely helps out a lot. James? Yeah, just going off of what Kevin said, uh, it's all about preparation has been uh, really slower as far as the difference to uh, when, we, when we prepare for a Big 12 team. Uh, just to change the change of pace is just going to be more, it's going to be uh, better for us, for us to get calls in, to get the right personnel in, and be uh, overall uh, ready for whatever they bring to the table. Chris, is it easier for you? Uh, uh, in my choice, I think it's easier for us to, you know, for us to go in the same way, uh, just like they said. Uh, the coaches prepare us for these type of things, so uh, we have great coaches, like what I always like to say. They prepare us for things like this in, uh, day in and day out. Uh, in the Big 12, uh, most offenses try to go pretty fast, so uh, if they try to use things like that, I think we'll be ready for it. Where are we going next, guys? Kevin, you talked about MLK is something you're looking forward to. What are you expecting? I mean, what, what are your kind of thoughts going into it before you arrive of what it will look like or what it might feel like? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really too sure, actually. You know, that's why I'm ready to go see it, you know, get educated, you know, learn more, and uh, just get the whole experience, you know, that's, I just want to go, you know, see, you know, whatever they have to tell us and just soak everything in and, you know, try to get a great experience out of it. Right. 